thank you for joining us for Together San Diego. I'm Paola Hernandez Shell from the San Diego Union Tribune. Do you enjoy gardening and cooking? Well, our guest today is Claire Grobner, Associate Director at Olivewood Gardens and Learning Center. It's a nonprofit organization in National City that offers science based nutrition lessons and hands on gardening and cooking classes for children, adults, and families. They're also known for their very successful Kitchenistas program that now has more than 450 graduates. Hi, Claire. Thank you for being with us today. Hi there. Thank you for having me. Congratulations on the successful of the multiple programs that you have. Tell us about the organization Olivewood Gardens and Learning Center and what you do. Sure thing. So we are here in National City. We have a beautiful facility. I'm in our uh, Victorian home uh, right now and we also have working and teaching gardens and a teaching kitchen and we're really focused on building a community of health around food. So we offer programming that supports people from all ages in learning how to grow their own food using earth-friendly methods, how to prepare nutritious and culturally relevant meals, and then also how to go out into the community and be advocates for health, for uh, farm to table cooking, for access to nutritious food in our communities. Uh, so a little bit of everything, we're serving our local school system, National School District through um, science-based programming. We have high school internships, uh, connecting the garden to the kitchen, building leadership, and then, as you mentioned, Paula, we have our, our Kitchenista program, uh, which graduates folks from an eight-week Cooking for Salud program, which focuses on nutrition, on building confidence in the kitchen, building community, and then really supports leadership development. So folks who graduate from the Kitchenistas program become part of our alumni community, and we provide really lifelong professional and personal development opportunities, as well as just, you know, building a, a community of support. And so Kitchenistas are our leaders here in National City. Uh, we have a, a couple of different documentaries actually about the Kitchenistas, so I encourage folks to, to take a look at those. Um, and it's all just really focused on you know, continuing to to build leadership and confidence and community around food, which we all love and, and celebrate. As you mentioned, you have these uh, cooking classes and gardening classes. And I did want to share a picture that I have. I'm also sharing on screen your website, olivewoodgardens.org, where you can find more information on the classes, on the internships that they offer, on the programs that they have for students. But let me show this beautiful picture that you sent me. You mentioned that you're located in this home in National City. And that is an aerial photo of the garden. Here is a sign, a picture of the sign as you enter. Tell us about the gardening classes that you offer. And also I can share that you have a cooking class coming up on uh, August 19th for grilled fish. Tell us how folks can sign up for that one as well. Sure thing. So we offer a variety of uh, gardening programs, cooking programs, in addition to just our ongoing programming supporting folks here in National City. So yes, our grilled fish cooking class is very popular. We will have gone to the uh, dockside market in the morning to pick up some fresh fish that was locally procured. And we'll be doing a class here at the gardens. So we're still uh, still have a few slots open. You can go to our website, allwoodgardens.org, to sign up for that. And then we have programs every month focusing on, on garden, on cooking. We have programs for little ones. We have Garden Explorers and Chef Cidos, which are both really fun, hands-on programming for the little ones. Uh, we do some family-based programs as well, some family gardening classes and then our adult cooking classes as well as kind of farm to table meals happen throughout the year as well. So lots of opportunities to come visit and we actually also have an open garden coming up this Saturday that is from 10 to 12 30. So if you're interested in, in seeing the facility feel free to join us for that as well. What does open garden mean? Is it like an open house? It's like an open house, but an open garden. So, and we'll actually do both since we have the house. So uh, we'll do a tour of the garden and we'll also do a tour of the facility uh, or the, the house. We have tours at 10, 15 and 11, 15. And then folks are also welcome to just come and, and wander the gardens and spend some time in the, uh, the beautiful outdoors here as well. As I mentioned, you are a nonprofit organization. I did list on there that, um, you know, some of the class prices 
uh, to participate. They vary from free to $100 depending on the program, classes that they sign up for. But I also know you do a lot in the community in regards to children's field trips. You do internships. You work a lot with the school district as well. If somebody would like to volunteer or make a donation, what should they do? Should they also go to the website? Yes, they sure should. Thank you for asking that. We have all sorts of different volunteer opportunities, whether you want to help in the garden or participate in an internship or support a program. And then, of course, we're always looking for folks who want to support financially and become a part of our community. We really, we need all of us to, to make this work happen and we welcome you to join us. And for the community that's interested, I know you have a program called Cooking for Salud, which means cooking for health. And this is your very popular uh, program, the Kitchenistas, where you've had more than 450 graduates. And I know you have, um, you know, another group coming up. Tell us about the Kitchenistas program. Sure thing. So we've uh, been running this program since 2013, and we're actually about to begin our 27th generation. Every cohort that we have, we call a generation. And so that's starting in September. And it's an eight week long program. Each session is focused on uh, something different. So our first session, we're focusing on, you know, building our community. We talk about rethink your drink, you know, what is in our drinks. We focus on all the different food groups. Uh, we have a Kitchenista 101 program. So, you know, when folks graduate from the program, they're Kitchenistas. So we really let them know all the opportunities there are, you know, as a Kitchenista and also the mission of Kitchenistas to share, uh, share what we've learned with those that we love. And then we have a graduation ceremony as well, where our graduates get to share with uh, their community what they've learned through the program and what they plan to take uh, you know, take out into their community moving forward. It's uh, really empowering and Kitchenistas are, are here every day doing some sort of program or other. There's a knitting club, there's a Kitchenista to Kitchenista class where Kitchenistas share, uh, you know, different recipes that they know. We have public speaking trainings. We go out into the local schools to do nutrition presentations for parents and actually starting with students as well. So there's a wide variety of activities going on with the, the Kitchenistas program. And that's, you know, through the Cooking for Salud program. A lot of programs, a lot of good that's being done in the community. I'm also sharing on screen the address for Olive Wood Gardens and Learning Center is 2525. Is it N Avenue? Yes. <laughs> National City. I know they have the letters there in National right. City. It's a beautiful location. If you have an opportunity, you said this Saturday you're having an open house? Correct. Yeah, it's great timing. So you can go to the website for more information for the open house, for the cooking classes, and also if you're interested in participating in their Kitchenistas program that they have. Thank you very much, Claire, for being on the show today. I also shared your social media. I want to say that they do have updated information on their Facebook page and on Instagram. Claire, thank you so much for being on the show today. I've been wanting to interview someone from Olive Gardens and Learning Center for several months now. I'm glad we finally got it on the schedule. And I also want to say thank you to Angelica from your staff for helping us to coordinate this interview. It's been a pleasure to speak with you and thank you for the work you're doing in the community. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. And thank you, you all for watching. If you would like to watch more of these episodes of Together San Diego, you can go to San Diego Union Tribune.com slash Together SD Live. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I hope you continue to enjoy the last few weeks that we have left of summer. Thank you, Claire. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye. San Diegans accomplish great things every day. We care about our neighbors and our community. We are proud of our diversity. We are resilient. We hold our leaders accountable. We live in one of the most dynamic cities in America. The San Diego Union Tribune, telling San Diego's story for more than 150 years.